Oh, here he comes. Oh, right there. Look at that. The crop dogs doubled up watching them on the Mega Live. Doesn't get much more fun than that. Welcome back to another video today. And uh, we're back. This is a much snowier world yeah. than uh, last time I saw you guys. Is our mic still hooked up? Are our mic still recording? It looks like they are. We should still be good. Did you turn your mic off? What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. It's a winter wonderland out here. Much snowier than the last several times I've seen you guys. And uh, we are out here today in Wisconsin. Hopefully, going to catch some nice crappies today. And... Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Why are we crappie fishing again? Well, recently I went on a hellacious weather walleye fishing trip and um, caught some walleyes, caught some burbot, caught some perch, but just for two days I just never really got something I thought was a good video. And just all these big front after big front, it was 40 mile an hour winds there today, it's supposed to be negative 20 out, just wasn't setting up good for another day of filming up there. So did a little driving and today we're crappie fishing. And uh, we actually have a co-star today, a guest. I don't know if we'll show him or we'll just let him introduce himself. But um, we're gonna hopefully find some crappies out here in the base. We've already been poking around a little bit. Um, last week we kind of filmed a shallow water weed relating crappie bite um today we're gonna be fishing the basin bite hopefully incorporating a lot of mega live footage into that letting you guys check that out all that kind of stuff but big announcement before that we got black camo sweatshirts back in at contour fishing clothing co and uh those sold out so fast both times we've had them we finally got a big kind of quantity of them in and uh they're available, so click down below. The link's down below. Everybody was going crazy over the black camel one, so we wanted to bring in a big order of it. But, like I said, we're gonna get a shack pop up. First, we're gonna find some fish and uh, hopefully catch them. Mitch, is your mic on? Oh, I just said who our co-star is. Is your mic off now? Yeah, it's off, it's off. Well, Mitchell is finally on the ice. He's finally back, so we'll see if he can catch his first fish through the ice today after I'll just put a whooping on him. So, <laughs> stay tuned find some fish, hopefully catch some basic crappies today up here in northern Wisconsin. Step one, obviously drill a hole. Oh, we'll get the Strike Master going here. This thing had a rough ride back at about 25 below yesterday. All right, once you got a hole drilled, we're kind of in an area where we've done a bunch of basin crappie fishing before. I'm just kind of walking and talking right now, but essentially what we want to do is get our mega live unit. And this is obviously, as many of you know, kind of the way to go when it comes to finding basin crappies. So we're nowhere close because obviously we've been not this season, but in the past I've fished areas out around here. So we'll do our best to kind of film this here. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into forward facing mode. And uh, simply by clicking right there. Now I'm gonna turn this around. So there's what we're looking for right there. Those are our suspended crappies right there up over basin. Mitchell, 35 feet that direction where the fish are yes so that's what we're looking for and that's where we go drill you can see you kind of lose the school a little bit right there but this is obviously the power of fishing with something like the mega live it's being able to turn this around cut your time looking around in these basins down dramatically and then obviously you know we could turn it over here all right nothing really going over there a couple way over there like 60 feet but if i turn back to where they were previously you can see right there, those are our fish we're looking for. <clears throat> They're about 15 feet down and 23 feet of water, 30 feet in that direction. So this is how a lot of times you can take a big basin, cut your time way down by using this forward facing technology. And on the live, on those hummingbird units, you can obviously toggle back and forth between sonar, 2D, um, or your Lake Master chip to see where you are in that basin. And uh, it makes it so easy to use. So now all we do is kind of start punching holes in a line that way until we kind of find those fish. And then we'll flip the otter up on top of them. Is that camera one? Yep. 
All right, well, we're literally just getting the cameras on, rocking and rolling here, and obviously you guys can see uh, the live here. Looks like Mitchell's gonna plenty of fish. Catch there we a bit. go. That didn't take long. It didn't take long at all. I don't think it's very big. It's gonna be a smaller one. It looks like first first one. A little eater one if you wanted to keep one. First one at the old brand new spot. But for fishing for approximately one minute now, not even. It always takes a little bit of time to get the camera's kind of rocking and rolling when it's this cold out. It's Let's not that see. bad, but it's probably at oh, like negative below. 12 this morning. Yeah. So I'm tying a jig so on. It's pretty cold though. We're both fishing Mickey jigs, which you guys saw in a recent YouTube video we did. It's kind of got the bill on the front, kind of goofy looking design, but thus far this winter, it's been good for me. All right, you got another one. Looks oh, like oh, oh. Up. There we go. Yes, well, this might be fun, huh? Yeah, especially if they stay here. I'm gonna, yeah. The nice part about the live is sometimes you can kind of target some of the bigger ones. Like you can see, I got a small one right there. So yeah, this looks like a bigger one though. Yes, it does. Oh, we'll see. Oh man, I don't know. Fish. It might just be in a couple of eaters right now. It doesn't feel too bad though. There we go. Three crappies in a matter of like two. I mean, basically a minute so far. <laughs> yeah. Fast action. This is honestly what makes crappie fishing so much fun through the ice. Crappie fishing is fun. Very interactive on the graph. You know, a lot of times, obviously, walleye fishing, you're kind of sitting around waiting for like one fish to come in. We're doing this a lot of times. You know, you have a graph full of fish like this. Watching your jig, watching the fish, and obviously with the live the imaging. Up. Oh, oh he's I missed it. I missed it. You too? I got a smaller one. Oh. That's when you know they're small. Where are these Mac dads? That's when you know. Oh, that one looks decent, huh? There we go. Yeah. Better? Actually, it looked like the same fish came back, but maybe I was seeing something. But yeah, feels a little better. Oh, yeah. You know, a, little a little bit better. nicer fish. Oh, throttled. Oh, no. <laughs> it is so ridiculously fun watching them on the live. That's a nice fish right oh, there. Oh, that's, huh? that's the best one. That's what we're today. after. There we go. Look at that. Little crop dogs. Doubled up watching them on the Mega Live. Doesn't get much more fun than that on a nasty cold winter system here. I mean, it has been just a chilly, windy, snowy go at it the last week. You just want to crappie fish the rest of the winter now? No, I don't. You can't drink from the well too many times. That's what I say with crappie videos. <sighs> Did a weed one, fishing super shallow weeds last week. This week we're doing some basin crappies, showing kind of the two different. Quappy bites that happen each yeah, winter. Basin crappies but, uh, is so much fun. But for the most part, we will be fishing walleyes and lakers for most of the winter. Walleyes? Hopefully lakers once the ice forms in the laker grounds. Oh, here he comes. Oh, right there. <laughs> I don't know what we got here, but he's gonna be a nice one. Oh yeah, nice fish. Look nice. Nice fish. Look how they're Beautiful eating that bird. Mickey jig. Gone, dude. This thing's been a little destroyer so far this ice season on a couple of my crappie fishing trips. There we go. Graph full of fish. Throttle on the jigs, catching piles of fish. Are you keeping any today or no? No. Are Letting you? them go? No, I'm not. I respect our natural resources. Me too. Even crappies. A lot of these basin bites get hit hard. So even if, you know, I you guys always hear me preaching about catch and release for like walleyes and everything. Equally as important for crappies. Because obviously we got basically video game fishing going on now. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to be, oh, I missed him. be mindful of that when I'm you're sure on these is. things. Now, I totally understand some people are like, oh, screw that live imaging stuff, you know, whatever. I get that too, for I sure. totally understand it. Totally understand yeah, where you're coming from. definitely not cheap. But, you know, yeah, it's not cheap. But as far as an efficient tool, I like catching fish. I'm not going to blame, I'm not going to blame uh, the invention of $100,000 boats for fishing going becoming, you know, yeah. worse in some lakes. That is 100% because people are harvesting more Keeping fish. fish, yeah. Yeah. Has nothing nothing to do with the boat. <laughs> guys just got the hot hand. As over it there. does to have something to do with, you know, harvesting fish. Catcher and release never been a more important dude. And look at that, just right there. You guys have watched three fish just come in and smoke the old Mickey jig right off the live. I'll go ahead and link this jig down below because I know I had a lot of questions about it in the last video. I'm fishing a Wonder Bread color. Mitch is fishing like a 
What color is yours? I, I don't even know, to be honest. Didn't pay attention, but that Wonder Bread color is money. Wonder Bread's always, that's going to be a nice fish. Money. Yeah. Decent one. We were mopping up on the eaters today if you were going to. But yeah, back to your live anchor. talk. I mean, if you're. Dude, if you're fishing right now. Fishing in the basin like this, it just saves you so much time and energy, too. It's going to be a nicer one. To drill oh, yeah. one hole, look around <laughs> for 100 feet, that's a nice fish. Look at that, dude. These are some nice crappies. Yeah. Good mix of eater sized ones. This one's probably about an 11 incher. Jig down the hatch right there. Graph absolutely loaded with fish. I think I've caught four fish just sitting here and talking in the last rambling, couple minutes now. Rambling on. Get back down the hole, get back down the hole. Just tipping these jigs with a little plastic. Now the key when you're fishing on plastic, as I've said before, number one, keep the jig really moving and play keep away with them. If you're oh. used to fishing like waxies on a graph, Jeez, if, you feel yeah, it came up? if you're crap. used to fishing like waxies on a plain jig, what you'll notice is you can get That's bit. Bluegill. It's a big bluegill. It's gotta be. Jeez, <laughs> just digging. No, it's oh, not. it is a crappie. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck? Um, I would have put money on that was a bluegill. But if you're used to fishing like um, just like a waxy on a jig, and you do the classic thing where like you're jigging, jigging, fish comes up to meet you, and you just stop the rod. And you can still get bit on like a minnow or, or a waxy doing that. Where with plastics, the key is keep it away from the fish, keep the jig moving. A lot of times that's how you get bit on plastic or artificial presentations for crappies. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, as soon as I set the rod down, I'll just keep doing that. It's a little tactic. Oh, that looks like, oh, it's two. Still could be a nice, oh my gosh, dude, he's Jeez. all over it. Oh man, he does feel better. Nicer fish, nicer yeah. fish. Let's double up on them. Let's double up on them. Do it, do it, do it. Oh yeah, slabberoony. What do you call it? Slabberoony. Slabberoony. Jeez, that's what I called it. It's been a minute since I've been out fishing, hasn't it? And the guy hasn't. Yeah. So everybody <laughs> always comments, "Where's Mitch? Man? Where's Mitch man? And then when I'm out doing public events, did you and Mitch have a falling out? No. Somebody Mitch just that? Mitch just likes to hunt. Yeah, I just, like to fish. I'm a freak when it comes to hunting. There we go. So Mitch was in a tree stand while I was fishing probably the last four months now. I attempted to... But hunting, nice season, hunting, hunting season is... It was harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, hunting season is now over and uh, we're kicking off the ice season. There we go. There you go. There you go. All right, guys, so I'm going to go do... You're the only one mic'd up. Do you want to make any mention before I make this point about your hat or no? I like to be warm. <laughs> did you harvest that pelt or no? I did. This little rabbit pelt. <laughs> so I'm about to make a move simply by switching the hummingbird into forward view mode. I'm on a whole hop and you can obviously see all those fish sitting out there to the left or you know in this direction here as we just briefly spun that thing around. So then we obviously know, okay, walk about 40, 50 feet that way, punch some holes, catch some fish. Got him right there. First drop. Once he did the little move, Decent little crappie there. Decent little crappie there. Nothing big. We still got some more on the screen here. So we'll just keep firing and dropping. We're roughing it out here in the cold. Mitch has all the fancy audio stuff in the shack where it belongs. But all you pretty much need is the auger, the hummingbird, and an ice rod. Get out and do a little moving around. Little guy. Sometimes, a lot of times you can tell when just a littler one based on the size marks kind of coming in. Got him right there. Fish. Oh, feeling decent. One of my favorite things about these long rods, dude, is how they load up. Man, nice fish right there. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that guy. It's about as good as it gets. Sitting out here on a gloomy winter day. Look at that slow pan. Catching nice crappies. Probably about a 10 incher right there. A lot of good eater size today and a few overs, but sitting here looking at a graph full of fish on a beautiful snowy day. Hunkered behind the snowmobile for warmth. <laughs> Mitch is over in the shack catching them right now, but uh, it is a good time. Look at that. 
That one was just kind of leaning on it right there. Feeling all right, feeling all right. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> Dude, no matter how many times you do this, I don't know if it ever gets old looking at a graph this full of fish. It is kind of what makes crappie fishing, especially over base and special. Great way to introduce people to ice fishing because often it's a lot of action when you get on them and uh, very interactive. It's not just sitting there waiting for a mark to come in. A lot of times you're watching several marks and kind of how they how they interact with your bait. I can tell them on like, there's some of these nice ones and then there's some that are just like probably year old crappies down there. Cause some of them you'll just get to like pop, kind of just pop the bait and that's kind of it. But obviously some nice fish around. One big tip I always say when you're crappie fishing in the basin like this is when you're dropping down, get don't like just drop all the way into the school generally what you like to do is i'll kind of stop the bait like up here four or five feet away from those fish and then just walk it down like this really slow into that school and a lot of times once you get a couple feet above them like this it's a lot better than kind of <laughs> kind of just dropping right down really heavy and fast into them so it works a lot better to do that slow fall oh yeah another nice one right there dude all about it man fish after fish out here clocking them clocking them first kind of base and crappie video of the season all right guys that is going to do it for today's video mitchell your first day on the ice of the season how was it it was awesome i like crappie fishing and i just love ice fishing you guys get the sarcasm in that the guy <laughs> is not an ice fisherman he's not no, one of I us Oh boy, that, that's he's not funny. one of us. You're right, I am not a hard water freak or whatever you guys call yourselves, but <laughs> I do like ice fishing though. But there you go. Fun little, kind of only fished really for a little bit. Um, caught a bunch of crappies out over the basin. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching some of the mega live content of those fish flying up and getting the crappies. I can already see, this video is not even uploaded yet, but I can already see a couple comments going in. I'd never just buy three thousand dollars for for to find fish. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> it is unbelievably yeah. helpful and useful tool. Mitchell, it you is, started yeah. fishing with forward face sonar through the ice last season. Yeah, and for my case, guiding it was just it was so money because I didn't have to drill a thousand holes to find fish. Drill a hole, scan it hundred feet, find basin crappies. If that's what you're doing, any basin type fishing is just it's hundred percent worth the money yeah and obviously the mega live you guys got to kind of see that showcase today but uh, another fun day on the ice out here got to go back got to do some work in the garage tonight I, I think i might try to make a big trip in a couple days here and uh, get back after chase walleye but really got kind of thrown a curveball by the weather the last few days and you really love crappie fishing and i love crappie fishing so much i had to come back and take my good fishing pal mitchell out <laughs> on a basic crappie bite but hopefully you guys enjoyed it um it's snowing like crazy outside right now we got some crazy winds coming so everybody be safe out there on the ice there's a lot of snow ice depth is going to vary a lot so be very careful if you're venturing out on the ice i always sure like to say it. that yep. be very thorough in your checking ice but we're going to tear everything down we're going to get out of here i'm going to get home and edit this video i appreciate you guys watching this one make sure you guys check out some of that contour fishing merch which we just posted up on the site the black camel contour sweatshirt is back available but appreciate you guys watching this stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time